In a new study called Serum Amyloid A is a Biomarker of Severe Coronavirus Disease and Poor Prognosis, data was collected from 132 COVID-19 patients that were admitted to the hospital. They conducted a blood test on these patients to measure their blood for levels of serum amyloid A protein, C-reactive protein, which is involved in the inflammation response, platelet count, white blood cell count, and lymphocyte. Now let's take a look at the results. It was found that those with COVID-19 had higher levels of serum amyloid A protein and C-reactive protein, but had lower levels of lymphocytes, while the platelet count and the white blood cell count were in the normal range. In the cases where the disease progressed from mild to severe, serum amyloid A and C-reactive protein levels increased while lymphocyte levels decreased. Let's explore the significance of this. This is useful because serum amyloid A levels can predict severity and prognosis of COVID-19 cases. This could be valuable in treating COVID-19. Since serum amyloid A is a protein involved in the inflammatory pathway, one possible treatment option could be to use an antibody that binds to this protein to block its function. Antigen specializes in the creation of antibodies. Specifically, they could create one that can bind to serum amyloid A. For more information regarding antigen and possible COVID-19 treatment options, please visit www.antigen.ca.